it's three years ago, we started with this. So we were doing, um, like John said, we were all in a room, and you said very politely, John, around dreaming things up. And my version of that is making shit up, actually, uh, in incubation, because we were just um, blue sky thinking, and because somebody else was doing it, and um, you know, it's the new shiny thing that somebody else has got, so obviously we need to do it. So we moved on from that, and, and you know, the power of using and, and working with Vanguard in the early days was, you know, unless you're going to understand the current system, you can't ever, you know, be in a, in a solid position to actually change it fundamentally. So we added the understand phase to that in terms of, you know, all of those, what Dave talked to you about in terms of the teams, anybody who, who touches anything or builds anything or is actually making an improvement, they, they can't do it unless they've studied the system first. They can't do it unless they're coming from a position of understanding or knowledge, whichever way you want to say it, right? So that's, that's essentially nobody moves in our business now about any, whatever thing they're doing, if they're coding anything, if they're building anything, if they're changing processes. It cannot be done unless you can prove you've been through the understand phase and you've studied it for yourself. One of the things that has changed our culture is some of the rules that have been put in by some of our leaders, which is exactly that, that you can't do anything unless you've studied the system first. You cannot build or touch or do anything unless you've been out in evidence that you've gone and seen the service, you've felt the service, you've listened to how the customers are already interacting with us and what problems they've got. So that's just a rule now. You don't do anything until you've done that, which makes a massive difference to the culture. Uh, one of the things we know is that through our program, um, our, pro our problems are still the same as they always have been. So, you know, digital technology is not going to fix the problems. It might help us do a better job. Um, one of the things that kind of, um, you know, it's something that's hit me in the last few years is that, you know, our, our, pro our problems have not been created by technology. So how can they fix it? They've made it worse, essentially. You know, when we've applied technology badly, all they've done is um, institutionalize the problem because we've coded it into the system. Um, technology has been the silver bullet for many years. You know, people have been on this technology thing. John mentioned it since the 80s, you know, when uh, it's, it's, been, it's been around for a long time that people think technology is the answer. This thing recently, if you want to look it up, is very insightful, actually. Um, Elon Musk, Tesla, Toyota, they've you know, come out and said that there's a direct correlation between aut automation and bad quality. And they're starting to take some of the automation out to put people back in the system. And what we've learned is every time you start with technology, it doesn't work. You just drive your costs up. Every time. Every time. The evidence suggests <coughs> when you start with technology, um, your costs go up. Now, one of the things just really... Um, and for us is where if, if you're starting this journey, you, you tend to get a lot of people talking about um, startups, um, throwing things like Spotify in your face, and um, well, this have a look what Google are doing and all this kind of stuff. Number one, they're not the same thing, they got different problems. And number two is that startups didn't start with a with cost, they couldn't because they didn't have a cost base to go from. They started with trying to provide a service from a customer perspective. They didn't come at it from a cost perspective. Whereas most people start with technology to reduce costs, it's going to go wrong. We've learned that the hard way. John gave us the theory, but we've put it into practice and learned the hard way. So now we're trying to do it the right way. So technology has already created huge amounts of failure demand in organizations. Now, I can, I'll, give, I'll try and get you back to a conversation. So we had a new uh, CIO come in, and I think it was about day three. And Alessandro said earlier about um, asking questions but knowing what you want to say. And I was asking him questions like, hello, nice to meet you. How are you? Yes, lovely. Yeah. But what I was really trying to find out was how much time he had in his diary because I knew he was new in, so he couldn't have hours and hours of meetings planned in yet. So I was asking him questions, and what I was trying to ask him was, when are you going to come and study? So I grabbed all of him in week one and said, it'd be really good, after we did all the shake hand stuff, if you came and had a look if you're coming out of study with me. He said, where do you want to go? I said, let's go to the internet bank and help desk. Let's go on and sit in there and stick the headset on for a day and have a look what's going on. So anyway, I'm sat this side of the desk and he's with his headset that side of the desk and the first call of the day I take and I'm going, because I've heard a few before, and he's going, first one. Second one was, 
third one was, oh, fourth one was, <laughs> fifth one was like this, and the sixth one was, what the? <laughs> going on. So anyway, uh, after he'd kind of been through that experience of seeing this and putting this data together, I gave him a totally different context in terms of digital, what he was trying to do. Um, Essentially, what we found by studying all this system is something that's obvious. There's no feedback between IT and service use. And we build, and, and the things that we build and where we use it are just completely separate functions. So the people who built all that stuff would never know that's going on, ever. They never, they never go there. They don't even know it exists. It's part of a different part of the business. It's Connect. It's where we do customer stuff. It's incredible. Unbelievable. But the amount of information that's in that system that they could use for feedback to actually build better things is incredible. It's all there, all, all the stuff they need is there. So anyway, that's, that's a bit of context in terms of, if you go and study your system, you'll already see that technology drives in huge amounts of failure demand and you don't want to keep doing that as a message. Um, so our, be our better method study first, um, and again, this has been said a few times today, is Leaders, obviously, most importantly, technologists, any of the feature teams that are spun up, scrum masters, agile coaches, they must study first with a better method. You must experience how the service is consumed, what problems are the customers trying to solve. It's obvious, but never done. More knowledge up front, better measures, no handoffs between the teams, UX, CX, coders, people who do work for customers, they all work together. So this is a so what in terms of you know, pro processing time down, um, ability to self-serve up, transactional automation up, failure demand down. When we first started this journey was digital, everything was digital, 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 even using the word digital at the front of everything you said automatically assumed that we were going to build something that was digital. Oh, excuse, what, 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 what are you talking about? Why is it digital? Well, it's just because we're doing digital transformation. It's obvious. Okay. Now, we're actually in this position. Now, these lovely corporate slides you can find on the internet any way you want to, but Digitize is still there, but Transform, that part of the donut, is actually, I think, as a consequence of some of the stuff we've done over the last three years, where actually digitization and transforming how you do things, how you actually design and manage the business, are essentially the same thing. And unless you do one, if you don't, if you don't transform how you do things, you're never going to digitize anything, or you're just going to make things worse. So. Very basic stuff, but we've learned it the hard way, actually, over the last three years, and we got all the battle scars, and we've kind of spent money, and some things haven't worked, so you know, we got the evidence to prove that you don't digitize things, you actually transform how you do things, and then digitize after. <laughs>